Hi, Emily here from Duet. Uh, today's question is relating to uh, subject to sale offers. So basically subject to sale means um, you are purchasing another property subject to the sale of the property you own now. So basically to make everything happen, you have to sell the property you are in now or that you own now to be able to purchase the other property. The second part of a subject to sale offer is a 48 hour clause, which is um, commonly also known as a two business day clause. So that is attached to a subject to sale offer. Now, this can be quite um, tricky to get your head around um, if you're making an offer subject to the sale of your property. It's really important that you understand fully the um, conditions or the two business day clause and that your agent is able to show you and talk you through the scenario from absolute start to finish. So there are three things you need to be really wary of um, on your two business day clause when you're buying a property subject to the sale of your property. One of them is the time that you are allowing or the time that the contract is allowing you to get an offer on your current property. So on the form, it will be noted um, that the this clause is subject to the buyer of property A obtaining an offer on their property property B no later than insert date. Generally, I'll look at five to six weeks. If you put too long a period to um, allow yourself to get an offer on your property, that may turn the seller of the property you are trying to buy off or their real estate agent might feel that you are not confident in the sale of your property or that possibly you are overpriced. This time period can be extended if they haven't agreed to another offer or done a deal somewhere else in the meantime um, and the property is still available in that five weeks time. So you can extend that. The second part, after you receive an offer, there will be so many days or a certain time period allocated for that offer on your property, property A, to become unconditional generally 30 days. On the forms I use and the annexures I use, I use a 30-day unconditional form. Generally, that will allow the time for the buyer of your property to get their finance, which is generally 21 to 28 days, which means they are then satisfied all your conditions on your contract for your property, and that contract is, is unconditional. The third important date is then the settlement date. Now this one needs particular attention. It might say on the form that the agent uses 30 days for settlement from your property becoming unconditional. Be careful with that. Have a look at the settlement date because I would always recommend to my clients that their settlement dates occur concurrently between their property selling and the property they are trying to buy. So on the property you are trying to buy, there will be a section for settlement. That is where I would recommend writing in this settlement is to occur concurrently with the settlement of property A no later than an insert a date. That gives that seller of the property you're trying to buy some kind of finite period, some timeline to work towards and a rough idea as to where um, everything will be tied up. Um, so they are three very important dates and um, conditions of a 48 hour clause when buying a property subject to the sale of your property. 
There's lots of other things that you need to be mindful of. One of them is you will need to pay your deposit for that property that you were trying to buy still ahead of time, so before you've sold your property. So it might be $20,000 deposit or, or something to secure that property that you were going to put down. That'll still need to be paid. In my case, I generally make them three to five days. Payable sits in the real estate agent's trust. Um, of the seller of that property. If you do not sell your property in the um, allotted time frame and that contract becomes void, the deposit money gets paid back to you as the buyer. Um, but it is something you need to be mindful of. Um, when buying a property subject to sale, it is super important that the agent representing your property is in really close contact and has a good relationship and keeps the agent selling the property you are trying to buy informed. Maybe it's the same agent for both, but more than likely it won't be. So if those agents can make sure that everything is running smoothly and they are keeping the seller of the property that you are trying to buy well informed, that just creates a really nice working environment and that seller knows what's going on and then if they need to allow a little more time or some flexibility, it's more likely to happen. So I hope that's um, some insight into buying a property subject to the sale of your current property. Um, but if you would like to know more, please send me a DM or give me a call and I'm more than happy to discuss it further with you. Thank you.